Hello everyone, it's Miss Savannah again from Los Alamitos Rossmore Library here for another fun virtual story time. Today, with permission from Simon & Schuster, we will be reading Van Penguin, written and illustrated by Lucy Ruth Cummins. Now this story, we're going to find out what happens with the Dracula family as they spend a lovely day at the zoo. Now as you can imagine with the title, Van Penguin, something might happen involving the Dracula family and maybe a penguin. So let's jump in and see what happens. On Saturday, the Dracula family woke up extra early so they could beat the weekend crowds at the zoo. After a short wait in line, they made their way through the turnstiles. Their first stop was always the penguin house. The room was chilly, dark, and full of visitors. There were Adelie penguins, African penguins, chin straps, flashy southern rock hoppers, and even a handful of emperor penguins. Now, what do we see happening here? We see little Dracula and one of the penguins make contact through the plexiglass. And what's happening behind them? That's right, it looks like a fish was used to wedge the door open. Do we think that's a good thing? I don't know, let's turn the page and find out what happens. After they'd see everything there was to see, they were ready for something different. <gasps> but what's happening? That's right, the penguin and little Dracula are switching places. Let's see what happens. Back in the penguin enclosure, it was time for breakfast. So here we see all the penguins lined up and a worker has a bucket full of dead fish. That must be their breakfast. There was almost enough to go around. Now, how is there almost enough? It looks like little Dracula ate the majority of the fish. Wasn't really good at sharing, was he? Mm -mm. Outdoors, the Draculas first saw the tiger, then the elephants, then the monkeys, and finally the lion. But do we actually see any of those animals in the illustrations? No, that's right. All we see are a bunch of tails and we don't get to see anything of the lion because there are so many people standing around. At the bear exhibit, the Draculas argued back and forth about if it was a grizzly or a brown bear. The only thing they could agree on was that it was majestic. There was a lot to take in. So you can see them taking a picture of the bear. And of course, what happens? The penguin has all of the ice cream cones that it can eat while it looks around at everything around him. After they had their fill, the Draculas made their way to the aviary. And look at how many ice cream cones the little penguin had. He had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, 12 ice cream cones. That is so many. And of course, the parents are shocked because how could their child eat that many ice cream cones? But the penguin looks like it's really happy. So that's all that matters. They flew right through it. Do we notice something strange happening on these pictures? That's right. It looks like all the birds realize there's a penguin with the Dracula family. And what's the little penguin saying to them? doesn't want to be caught. He wants to live out this day going around the zoo. Back outside, the entire Dracula family was absolutely delighted by the sea lion behavior demonstration. So what happened to the Dracula family? That's right, they got soaked from the sea lions, but it looks like only little penguin was very excited to get wet. And back at the penguin house, first one penguin made a splash and another one made an even bigger splash. Well, what does that mean? Little Dracula made such a big thing about putting a towel around to dry himself off. So let's see, maybe that will come to play later on. On the opposite side of the zoo, the Draculas ran into some old friends. Who are their old friends? That's right, a spider. 
At the penguin exhibit, some respectful children came to quietly observe the penguins. But for some reason, they didn't hang around. Why do we think they didn't hang around? That's right. I think the kids were spooked by little Dracula, especially when he started hanging upside down in the penguin exhibit. It was getting late and the last stop for the Draculas was polar bear exhibit. They knew they had to get moving if they wanted to beat the evening brush home. And what do we see happening here? The polar bear pointing at penguin and the penguin going, Shh, still doesn't want to get caught. At the same time, across the zoo in another cold room, the penguin exhibit was suddenly proving to be a treat for all the senses. So what do we see happening with all the penguins? They're starting to be like, that's right, because little Dracula has a stinky diaper that needs to get taken care of, and they don't know what to do about it. On their way to the exit, the Dracula family happily posed for a souvenir pic. And this is when we see Penguin and little Dracula make eye contact at each other through the window. And Junior insisted they stop for a balloon in his favorite color. And what's his favorite color? That's right, black just like one of Miss Savannah's favorite colors. And here we can see little Dracula and Penguin waving goodbye to each other as Dracula's friends from the Penguin exhibit wave him goodbye. And off they went. And what do we see little Dracula has in his hand? Just a little fish, his own little souvenir from his time in the Penguin exhibit. The Draculas would never forget their visit to the zoo and neither would the penguins. Why? Well, look, they're taking advantage of all the towels and using them to dry themselves off, just like little Dracula did. And as the mom looks at the souvenir picture they took, realizing there was a penguin with them all day while little Dracula was inside the penguin exhibit, we come to the end. Thanks for joining me for this story of Van Penguin. I hope you had a lot of fun. And you know, maybe one day you will go to a zoo or an aquarium or some sort of exhibit and maybe look around and find one of the animals doesn't really belong where it belongs. You never know. Just make sure you're always observing your surroundings and keep an eye on what's happening around you. I hope you enjoyed this story. I will see you next time. Make sure you are signed up for our summer reading program and check with your local library to see what all sorts of fun activities they have planned for the summer. Bye everyone.